Uh, out here today I got Tora, Grandma Tora, and I have the Cayenne Karoo pups. Now that guy digging straight out there, that I believe is a black collar, that would be uh, Hyolta. The big fella right beside him, the big gray boy, is Kaiser. And Oslo is down here by that stump. Yeah, that's Oslo, Ozzy. And the other female is Rita. She's way over here. Way out there. Mon is around somewhere. He was just rolling in this massive bear crap, so he's covered in bear crap. What are you doing, boy? You better come by me. You come by me, uh, um, big fella. Come on, Ozzy. Yeah, that's okay to film right there. Ozzy, come on up. Come on, boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good. Boy, you help bunk them on there. Let's see if I can level this little tab. There we go. A little bit better. There's Kaiser. There's Rita. And there comes Volta. And, and, and. can't sit down because Mon's covered in bear crap, he'll just coat me. And this whole region is just bear crap everywhere, fresh too, so he just covered it, he just stinks. Them. Yeah, I can't kneel down. He'll come and jump on me and I'll be covered in crap. I just as soon not. Every elk hound, if they find fresh bear, scat, they'll roll in it. Masks their scent, I guess. Who knows? But they think they're better bear hunters. This is all bear line, of course. So the Karoo and Kai pups, their grandmother, Ritu, is a Finnish bear champion. Karoo's dad is a Finnish bear champion. He's also a Finnish moose champion. Ritu is also a Finnish moose champion and Finnish show champion. These are some seriously high-end working dogs. Of course, Kai comes out of the very best working dogs on the planet, too. So these dogs have two Nordic champion hunting dogs in their background close to the surface. Plus all the crew's non-stop lineage of hunting. Kai's is non-stop lineage hunting. So these are profound working dogs, these ones. But look at the handler focus. They don't get sidetracked. They stay focused. They hang out. The mentor dogs are doing the job. We're not to hike in any great distance, but the yard, you know, we hike on the other side of this valley, just halfway up that hill. We go to the left. You can hear the highway down there. So the yard's down to the left, right? Down that way. And in the winter lots, I'm up on that ridge looking this way.
And then of course, where's my other guy? He's over here. So you can see beyond him, straight over top of him is the trail up. So we take that trail and you can see where it goes up that way. Come on, let's bring them up into these uh, trees up here. Bring them up here. You guys come up by me here. Come on, Reed. Come on. Come, boys. Come on. Come, come up here. Shady. Come here. Come by me, boys. that little spot okay we can film them there I'll just back up a little bit here so these are exceptional little rascals these guys very good dogs to work with very mentally stable excellent in the bush just excellent they're right in their environment here. This is a, a very cool group of dogs. this big guy right here that's Kaiser Kaiser he's got the big bulk like Tora I mean very very good sized fella stout big old boy Tora's a powerhouse 64 pounds of muscle about seven pounds of fat But we'll drop that fat off this summer. She bulks up in the winter. She's like me. We bulk up a little in the winter. Now this particular lineage is exceptional with uh, handler focus and working in the bush. They're the very best. And we're on isolation lockdown due to the Wuhan attack, Wuhan virus attack. It was unleashed on the world and our healthcare system's trying to battle it right now. Our government has asked us to stay put for a while yet, so we're, we're going to assist them, give them a chance to get a hold of it. And we're in British Columbia so Doc Henry's doing a pretty good job, boy. And uh, meanwhile, the Premier, he's busy giving away the country and letting us turn into police state and communism, but that's for another video. For now, I'm on isolation lockdown and I'm training these guys. Now, you'll be able to see these guys actually being born, especially... Uh, Rita is number two. Uh, the first one out's one of the boys, and the third one's out one of the boys, but I don't know which of the boys, but Rita I know. And so I filmed them whelping coming out, and you'll see all the videos each week coming up. So you can follow them as they grow and develop, and you'll be able to follow Rita all the way through. Now I never train with the mother, Kai, because she's not a good trainer. She's constantly trying to get away from the pups. And so it's, they would be long gone. 
So you train with the model dogs because they, they don't need to get away. And this goal, once we stop hiking, the goal is to train them to understand that we just hang out here. They can look around, they can be around, they can dig holes, but they have to hang out. And it's very difficult to do this with a pup without a model dog because they like to keep moving. So it's best to have skilled mentors and then piece of cake. Taurus trained more pups than any female alive. Now we've got more of these pups. Now, honest to goodness, I think I saw the belly on Tuba last night. I saw her laying down and it sure looked like the belly starting. So I am very excited because uh, here comes this big fella because she's bred to Karoo, the father of these pups. Well, that's uh, Oslo, Ozzy. What a good boy that guy is. Look at his tail curl. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, these are some spectacular dogs. Of course, uh, grand champion hunting dogs on both sides of the lineage. Some of the very best hunting dogs in the world on both sides. And some of the very best Norwegian and Finnish and Swedish show champions as well. Now over there you have to be a hunting champion before you can enter a show. So only the very elite go into a show. So Karoo's mother of course is Finnish show champion, Finnish bear hunting champion, Finnish moose hunting champion. So Mon, he's out of the old bear line too. So of course, he rolled in all the bear crap he could find. So he just covered in it. Starting to dry in the sun, but he still stinks. And he loves to jump and give me a hug, so I would be washing everything I have. And I wouldn't just necessarily like the smell for right now. Now a pretty content group of pups, hey? Eh? This is what you want to see. You want to see these guys relax, not not venturing around, not goofing around. You want to see mental stability like this. And they learn how to just hang out and be around. Now this is a skill that's in them, bred in them, bred in this lineage. It's not in all but it's in this line. That's what we specialize in is handler focus. And for this type of work that we do, this remote terrain, it's an absolutely phenomenal instinctive skill. And it's in the pup. So the pup is not having uh, to be trained. It just has to have the instincts woke up and directed a little bit and it instinctively wants to stay here. It's so fascinating. And my job, of course, is to manage the model dogs until the little dogs have it figured. I don't worry too much about the little guys. I, of course, I worry, but my job is to manage the model dogs so the little guys get her figured. And they pretty much have her figured. And this is what I want to see. I want to see relaxation. I want them to chill out here. I want them to relax. When I stop, I want them to stop. This is my goal. When I get moving, I want them to move. But I don't want them moving if I stop. Now, walking uphill to here is uh, where we didn't come far, but we're out of earshot. And it's not a far hike, but moving through the timber, they don't have any issues because they don't like to get left behind, so they just stay with the model dogs, and the model dogs just stay right with me. So easy to train in the bush, and there's no set trail. We just kind of wander through, so they don't learn any bad habits. A bad habit would be taking a pup and putting them on a trail to train them. And every time you go on the trail, he knows in 
three, four times to go to the end. And so pretty soon he's already going to the end without you. But in training a pup, if you train him in the bush like this, there's no trail. So he never thinks that we're going in a set line, that we're going somewhere. He thinks we're just moving. And so he's just a uh, hundred times different. And once they're 12 to 14 weeks, 16 weeks, they're locked on to me. And then I can go on trails. I can go down open areas because they've already developed the ability to, to just stay focused. Never train a pup on a trail. Just go into the bush and wander around in circles. That's the best. Then there's no set pattern. And all he'll do then is stay focused on you. And that's all you want. And you want to go 20 minutes, something like that, and you stop. You stop for 15, 20, and you go. 20 again, stop again. And always stop so that they have time to zero back in on the handler. If all you did was just go out, hike, and go back home and hike, there's no thought process for the dog to realize that when you stop, that they should stay put. There's a hummingbird about an inch from my face here. Probably heard him. I guess he liked my yellow suspenders. Another bear crap over there. Son of a gun. God. The bear's been all through here. In BC, there's between 120,000 and 150,000, and this is total bear territory right here. We even have bear crossing signs on the highway, on the number three highway, right next to my yard. And they cross all through these ranges here. So we're in bear all the time. <laughs> yeah. Guy asked me the other day, he said, Murph, how come them dogs don't take off? <laughs> oh, I laughed. I said, because I'm a Kenyan. I can catch them. <laughs> no, I was just kidding. Uh, you'd think I was part Kenyan. Holy cow. But once you have a dog skilled, then they won't go until I tell them to go. Not that they won't all hunt, it's not that they don't find every rabbit, every squirrel, every moose, every bear. But if I say buy me, they're by me. No fooling around with the big dogs. And I can take 15. Holler by me, scream like a banshee. Boom, they drop what they're hunting and on me. But that takes some time, some dedication, some countless hours, thousands and thousands of hikes. Good group. Look at these guys. This is a good group of pups, boy. I like pups that can chill out. There is nothing quite like it. Mentally stable dogs is the best line I got, right? These are fourth generation pups. So I have all four generations standing in the yard. There's their half sister, Letta, is a little older than them. She's two years older. She's a Kai daughter, Kai and Leaf daughter. But I'm going to breed Letta, most likely either to Swix or Karoo. Swix, if the, if the vet will do it, what's the Wuhan on? But if the Wuhan is troubling us, we'll use Karoo this time and Swix next. But that will be a fifth generation, all five standing in the yard. Hundreds of generations old. This particular lineage 
is goes to the start of the association on both sides and it's it's a fascinating uh, lineage on both sides hunting champions so yeah good group of dogs well it's pretty good I'm gonna get my coffee and have me a coffee that's a pretty good video I wanted to show everybody their pup so that green guy right there, that's Oslo. The black guy, Hoyolta. The big silver guy in the middle there, Kaiser and Rita. And uh, the other female is uh, hiking in uh, Canmore. I, I should have mentioned her earlier. I just thought of her and I'm out of uh, time here, but she's already hiking out there. So I'll uh, speak to her next time.